Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jeremy with Bod's Exotic Reptiles. Um, for those of you that follow me on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, know that we normally specialize in ball pythons. However, we do have some other projects going on. For an example, my lovely wife is the, the one that's working strongly with the crested geckos. Um, we, she did a video in the past and there's going to be more to come on that. And another project that we're working on is, um, is Central American boas. So this video is basically going to be showing all the bows that we have so far, which I believe is nine. Yeah, and we're, we're expecting one more, so stay tuned. Alright, so like I said, we have nine of these. These are all about, I don't know, between a year and two years old. And this is just a straight up female IMG, which believe it or not, a regular IMG are pretty hard to find. Usually they have something else in there or their head for something or, which is not a bad thing, but you know, just straight up IMG. And she's only going to get darker as she ages. And they all came from Da Vinci Boa. And if I can figure out how to put the link on the bottom of this, I'll, I'll go ahead and put that in there. But I don't know if you can see, are you picking up any of the iridescence on this girl? Yeah. Okay. All right, so that's, that's uh, and they're, these are not in any particular order. I don't have any favorites. I love them all. And I cannot wait to the, uh, so I start doing stuff with them, like breeding them. All right, and I spilled the water, pulling this girl out of the tub. And I'll show this girl to you. She is actually a Kraken Hypo female. Okay, so the Kraken Hypo female. All right, so this girl here, she is what you call a Motley Inca, and she's also Het T positive platinum and Het black eyed anery. And I think she may, like, getting ready, maybe starting to go in the shed. Yeah, she's usually brighter. But uh, I love the way it's like she has almost like a dorsal stripe or it's like a different color on the sides than from the top. So um, I'm really looking forward to working with this girl here. I love the Inca Jean. All right, so this girl, she's a, actually the very first boa that we picked up. Um, she's actually a Hog Island ghost. And the reason why we decided to get her is because one of the animals that Richard had at his table was a, what he was calling, it was a combination. It was a cookies and cream, which was a Hog Island ghost to an IMG. I believe IMG ghost too, or maybe hypo. I'm not 100% sure, um, but I know this is part of the uh, ingredients that we need to produce that animal. We're bringing in the tip of the day. <laughs> right? <laughs> is that good? <laughs> All right, so today's tip of the day is a trick on cutting your craft paper. This is actually indented craft paper that I like to use on my hatchling racks and my boa racks, or my boa tubs. It's actually a, like a, a textured material, so when they're shedding, it helps them with shed. So this, as you can see, is a roll, and they actually sell a machine that you can set this on that cuts the paper. However, that machine is really big, really tall, and kind of gets in the way. So instead, use something simple like this. Okay, so what I like to do is I take, this is the tub size that I'm using, and depending on whatever size tub you need to cut, you can, um, measure the, the size by just laying it flush on the side here or actually have the tub hang past just a teeny bit. You take your clamp and you get it up tight against the uh, table. And you lock it into place. Now, when I cut these, they should fit in here pretty good. 
Now, use a razor knife. Be careful you don't cut your fingers off. <laughs> and you actually hold the paper to the edge of the table. And then there's a groove in this clamp here. You actually have the blade of the knife sticking in that groove. And you just... And there's one piece right there. Fits in there perfect. And, you know, after you do it a couple times and the roll gets a little smaller and easier to move, you can actually do these pretty quick. I hope you guys enjoyed the tip of the day. Now back to the video. All right, so now we're getting into some of our visual recessives. And this girl, she sometimes is a little hissy, meaning vocal, but you know, just vocal. But she's a really, really nice looking girl. She is a jungle blood. And I think she might be head for something, but honestly, I don't have it written on my card. I have it written in the program that we use. But visually, she is a jungle blood. And you can almost see, I don't know if it's the lighting I have here, but there's a little bit of the iridescence on her. I don't know if that's something that you're picking up on that camera or not. But yeah, just a really, really cool looking girl. Moa's bellies are always cool looking. Yeah, look at the belly on that. Oh, if you can get bellies like that with a ball python, it'd be great. And look at the contrast in the tail. really cool looking girl. So this is a hypo super kraken. So this is the super form. So every time I breed this animal, everything that comes out, just like in ball pythons, when there's a super, you're going to get everything that's going to be kraken. And then um, we don't know what this looks like with IMG. And of course she's wanting, or no, this is a male. He's wanting to cruise around. But I like the way it's striped out. And I, he had some other Krakens that we, he was also holding back that are actually more striped than this. Um, but this is the only one he would let go. And I had to really pry this out of his hands. So yeah, there we go. That's a male Super Kraken. Okay, now this girl, or excuse me, this boy is probably one of the most iridescent looking animals that we have. It is picking up mm -hmm. the iridescence. I can see some of it. So this is a IMG hypo, and he's also poshet snow. But yeah, he's um, he's not in shed neither. He's just this. He's this dark, and always has this iridescence. He's just and, getting darker each time he sheds. Yeah, and as he ages, he'll just get blacker and blacker, and. I think this is a really cool looking animal. And this was actually, I believe, another one of his holdbacks, which I <laughs> basically had to pry out of his hands again. But um, I'm glad he let him go to me, and we're going to do some nice stuff with him. They're harder to film. Yeah, moving around a lot. I don't know. Is it going in and out of focus? No, it's just they're all over the place sometimes. Yeah. And I just love the iridescence on this guy right here. Let's see if I can get him. Nice close head shot there. It's out of focus. All right. Okay, so this one here is another visual recessive that we have. And this is a Blood Aztec Het Sharp. So Sharp Albino. It's kind of like a, um, almost like a salmon, like a dark salmon belly looking color. It's got the Aztec texturing, or not texturing, but patterns on the sides there. That's why they call it the Aztec. I'm not sure if there's a super Aztec or not. I'll have to ask Richard on that. Um, this girl, I think, is probably, or this boy, I think he's probably closer to two years old. I'd say he's probably, out of the nine that we have, the largest. He's just sitting pretty right now. He's looking really good on camera. Yeah. 
And I've noticed, like, again, this one as well has iridescence. You know, all the, pretty much most of the boas that I've, at least the ones that I have, always have that little iridescence to it, which uh, just adds that much more to it. But yeah, he's, it's, it's also, as they shed, they look better and better with age. All right, so the last but not least is this IMG Ghost, and he is on the move. He's very cool looking. He's actually the very last male that we picked up too, or the very last uh, boa that we picked up in general. We are looking at one more to be picking up. Um, we're just waiting it to get a couple more males. She just recently um, was born. I almost said hatch, but they don't hatch. <laughs> Just only like a week ago, I yeah. think. Yeah. Looking at the camera, getting a nice kiss there. It's kind of blurry when you oh. come up to the camera like that. So yeah, that wraps it up for our boa collection as of now. So uh, thanks again for watching. Um, also, let me know what you guys think about this new little thing that I'm adding into these. I'll, I'll probably do it on every single video. The, um, the tip of the, what did I call it? The tip of the week, tip, tip of the video, tip of the day. Tip of, tip of something. I don't tip know. Tip of but today. Tip of today. Yeah, either way, let me know what you Today's guys think of this. Today's tip. That's what it was. Oh, okay. Today's tip. Yeah, there you go. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share if you can, and I highly appreciate that, and we'll see you on the next one.